This last video is on calculating the relative frequency in a two-way table. So relative frequency is just the percentage, okay? So it's so how often something happens divided by the outcomes. So it's what happens divided by a total, okay? So how many times it happened divided by a total? And it'll give you a percentage. So pause the video and get that definition down. Remember to have everything I write down, you write down. And so we have a two-way frequency table here shown on the student's performance on a math test that a student, for a student's gender for Mrs. Smith's class, test, or class, excuse me. So there were 42 females that passed, 15 that failed, um, and 14 males that passed and five that failed. Okay, so now you would say there's a lot of females that passed, right? Um, but the reason we do relative frequency is because if you add up these totals, there's a lot more females than there are males. So we look at the percentage of people that passed and failed. Okay, so here the total number of passes would be 56 and the total number of fails would be 20. So then if we were figuring this out, if we take this, the number of females that passed, or the, the percentage of people that passed that were female is going to be 42 out of 56, which would give us 0.75 or 75%, right? And the number of males that passed would be 14 out of the same 56, which means there was 0.25. Here, the number of females that failed would be 15 out of the 20 that failed. That would be 0.75. And 5 out of the 20 would be 0.25. Okay? So the breakdowns there, and you could do this a different way too. We could say now, what's the total number of people that failed, or uh, the total number of females. So the total number of females would be 57, right? And the total number of males would be 19. So we could say the, the percentage of females that passed would be 42, divided by 57, and that's going to be 42 divided by 57. It's going to be 73%, which would mean the number that, of the percentage of females that failed would be 15 out of that 57, and that would be 27%. Okay, so you could look at it two different ways. So let's, but usually on, and on con, the pra problems that you'll practice, they will give you the total. The total should equal up to 1 or 100 percent. Um, and so you're doing out of that total. So I would add that total to your, your tables. So here we have a two-way table that shows the patient's depression in their family history and if they have it. So here we're adding the totals. How many people had depression in their family history? Well, that would be 16 plus 28 is 44. People that didn't would be 19 plus 112 is 131. So then 16 divided by 44, that's going to be 0 0.36. 28 divided by 44, that's going to be 0 0.64. 19 divided by 131 is going to be 0.145 and 112 divided by 131 is gonna be 0.855. Both of those adding up to one. Again, if the totals were here, you could do the percentages to find out what percentage of patients had depression, um, or out of all the patients that had depression, what percent had family history and what percent didn't. Out of the patients that didn't have depression, what percent had family history and what percent didn't. Okay?